I want to illustrate setting up an extended period simulation, an EPS, uh, using example one from the reference manual, which is also MEX1 in your data files uh, subdirectory. Uh, this is the example we pump from a reservoir. There's a tank here. There's some demands. Uh, we really don't want this check valve in here for an extended period simulation because we want to study whether the tank goes in both directions. So the first thing I do is to remove this check valve. And the next thing I do is provide tank data for the tank, make sure we have the data. And we, to run a regular simulation, all we need is the initial level. But to run an extended period simulation, we need the maximum minimum levels, which I'm going to set at 220 and at 180. Now we also need to set the diameter. So I'll go to the next screen and set the shape or the diameter. I'm going to put a fixed diameter of 40 in. So now we have a 40 foot diameter tank. Uh, I'll have to set up the system data to run the EPS. So I'll go into system data and EPS and set up a 24 hour simulation at one hour increments. Now the other thing I'd want to make sure I, I did is uh, to get rid of all the changes I've had before so I can actually clear out the changes, which is what I'm going to do. So now I don't have any changes. And I'd want to run this. So I'm going to run this simulation. It will uh, analyze how the tank fills or drains using a constant demand. So I'm ready to do the analysis. So I set up and do a simulation, analyze it. And it's completed the analysis. And I can turn on some results and I would like to look at the level in the tank. And basically this is what we got. The level of the tank is filling up and at about 10 hours it's full and the uh, pressure remains constant. Now we're going to discuss some additional results in, in a second audio video on EPS.